Good morning. Morning. Aha. Uh -huh. You can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you guys eat the best? Did you do the password to get on today? No, huh? -uh. Okay. Very nice. Ron, I haven't forgot about you. I'm just in swamp mode getting ready for my uh, thing. I still have your page to look at, okay? Appreciate it. I understand that. Thank you. You're very welcome, sir. I got a little seminar coming up for a thousand people in two days. <laughs> really? Yeah, kind of. What do you do for stress? I don't have stress. You're amazing. I don't have stress in my life. <laughs> no stress. Oh, let me fix my windows. Hold on. I have uh, no stress because I, I have a great family that doesn't let me stress. Merv Jersak is in the house. Taking me away from pool time with my grandson. No, good. Take your phone in the pool. <laughs> hmm. Hi, Tony Caruso. That's why I closed the door. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. You're on mute, Tony. <laughs> I cannot hear you. <laughs> Let's pick up. <laughs> it's a power that Craig has. He just mutes me. <laughs> Look, my hands are here. <laughs> Thank you for the text at 9.30 at night last night. It took a long time for you to answer me. I, I am in mode you wouldn't believe. I, I, have, I have so many. Oh, my God. Anyway, so many things in the fire. So many things in the fire. Don't burn anything up. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all very, very good. I'm going to wait a little bit longer because we have 60 something people that registered and only 10 are on. <laughs> but they, 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 they are, they're probably getting here exactly at one o'clock, which is what I usually do anyway. So, so um, yeah, Katrina, where'd you yes. go? TonyCaruso.com? Yep, TonyCaruso.com. Did you check it out? Craig? What is TonyCaruso.com? Katrina redid my website and it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh. We're still doing some stuff in the back end, so it's not live yet. Okay. It should be. Well, I, just... I went to TonyCaruso.com and is it gonna, is, will it be there? Yeah. Yep. No. Okay. no, it's a bad gateway. I couldn't get on it earlier, Katrina. I thought maybe you were working on it. Let me check. Yeah, I can get on it. Let me check. Yep. Because we're still working on the SSL certificate and it sometimes takes it down and then brings it back up. Okay. So that's what's happening because it's not there. Yep. It's hiding. I'm trying to promote you, Katrina, and you're not helping. <laughs> Look at all these pretty faces. I love all the women have their hair up. <laughs> My hair, man, has got to control. I got to get a haircut. I still got to get a haircut. Yeah, we wanted to tell you that. I know. I am. I did keys. It looks really good if you want me to come over. It's poofy. You, well, I was just that? watching the uh, California update, and um, uh, barbers and hair salons are and nail salons are all in phase three. Oh. Yeah, when ours are probably going to be in phase two. We we just started phase one Friday. I'm going to Texas to get my hair cut because they're pretty much open right now. I'm moving oh, to Texas. Not. Hey, I got to tell you, um, just a, uh, a thing that they are 100% opening their campus this fall. Uh, full housing, full 
Craig can't hear you because there's somebody's got some somebody's noise. got a mute. You got a mute if you've got TV going or something. All right, who's watching TV in the background? There you go. So anyway, um, uh, Baylor and TCU said they're both 100% opening in the fall for dorm rooms and full classrooms and good and, and football games even. So that's yeah. awesome. I think. Uh, I, did you see in San Diego all the protests at Pacific Beach? I don't know if anyone saw that. There were like uh, thousands of people on the beach. Yeah, Fred, we good. had. What's that? It, that like, we good. had protests. I'm sorry. We had protests in uh, the in front of the Frisco City Hall. In, in oh, in Frisco. Oh, that's awesome. So, some woman decided to open up early. She couldn't wait for a few days, and so she got up there and she tore up the citations that were given to her and the wow. cease and desist. And wow. you know, oh, there were hundreds of people there on the green. It's like, hey, it's getting. Well, I, I think people are just done. You know, I think uh, just yesterday. You know, we all and want yet, to be safe, but we all want to have sanity. Yeah. Well, and yet we're still getting new cases all the time. Yeah, no, I get it, um, but you know, we get new deaths, but at least new cases. We get new cases all the time. Okay, Merv, I think it's you that's got their, um, sound. No. Nope. Whoever that is, can you mute? Is it Craig? Just the people that are unmuted right now is Paula. Oh, to everybody. Demara. There we go. Oh, there. That was who? Remember. All right. So I'm going to start. There's 18 on right now, and uh, well, 20. Here we go. People are loading in. Um, so today is the speaker one sheets. I have a few speaker one sheets that people emailed me. If you want to email me your completed one sheet in the next half hour. Uh, I will try to look at my emails and uh, I will go over those. But I'm gonna do a couple of things first before we actually go into uh, showing you um, one seat, one sheets. I'm gonna go into a couple of little things, sharing the screen of what's supposed to be on a one sheet. So let me just hold on, let me just mute everybody first. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so here we go. Oh, Tony, uh, your website just loaded. Is this it? Just nod yes. I can't hear you, you're on mute, but is this it? Yes, that's it. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, hot red. We partner with exceptional speakers like Craig Doeswalt, helping them create an experience. That's so nice of you to add that in there. Cost of feeling, let's talk. This is great. Oh, well, that's probably just because of this. Oh, that's weird. The boxes flip around if you go on them. Yeah, but look what the word audience is doing. If I widen it. Huh. Well, I'm sure you've got to fix that. Um, but gorgeous. I love the little lines here separating that little black line is great. Uh, but uh, butts does not have an apostrophe right there. Just a little thing if you want to do that. I love these things. See audience huge letters and then a little swoosh and then something then getting paid and then a little swoosh and then something and then a DIY. I'm just prefer, that's uh, let me see if that's a uh, but they're working on it. But the yeah. look of this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You. That's very phallic right there, but I won't say anything. If it gets you to call me, I'm all good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, Gail Barber, you made it. <laughs> Gail kept texting me, I can't get on, I can't get on. And I'm like, I don't know how to fix it. Everyone's on. All right. I can on my uh, iPad, but I couldn't on my computer. Huh. Very strange. You need a new computer. <laughs> Is it a PC? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Is it a PC? Uh, no, it's an Apple. Oh, there you go. It's a, a Mac Air. <laughs> well, it must be, it must be a, a, a Macintosh Apple or a Fiji Apple. I yeah, am right. so no, glad it's... somebody else laughs at that. <laughs> I'm not the only one that's PC. 
No, I, I love of, PCs. There's a lot of PCs. I just, uh, I don't understand them. But we I have love both. PCs. <laughs> all right, right shut up, everybody. Shut up, everyone. We're doing a seminar now. <laughs> Craig, you're always so gracious. I know. <laughs> just shut up, everyone. Just shut up, everybody. <laughs> all right, I love you. I love you, Marianne. You're not even here. All right, uh, the, this is the master class for speaker one sheets. And before we start, uh, we're gonna have the quote of the day. The quote of the day today, selected by Craig Doeswalt is, accept the challenges so that you can feel the exhilaration of victory by George S. Patton. You know, we're all going through challenges right now. And, you know, we all ask, well, I, you know, my whole family and I'm sure a lot of people that believe in God, ask God, why do we ever have challenges? Why can't you make everything so warm and fuzzy and everything great all the time? Well, then we wouldn't appreciate the victories if we if everything was great all the time. So right now we're all going through a challenge, but I'm feeling I'm feeling the uh, end of this thing coming kind of soon. Even if it's a month or even two, uh, where it's just like not it's not going to be totally back to normal normal in two months, but just a, a flicker of normalcy right now will feel great for all of us. Uh, I went our golf course just opened North Ranch. Um, golf course just opened uh, for golf only. You have to walk. And let me just share um, what walking North Ranch means to my thing that's located in the middle of my chest area called the heart. I walked 18 holes and after four holes, I thought I was having a heart attack. I swear to God, I think my beats per minute were 420, if that's even possible. So I did this. And I walked in, I, I, I made it, and I played golf, but I felt so great after it. But during it, I honestly thought, I'm going to die of a heart attack because of the quarantine. Because you're able to do some things, but not be very, very active, at least I'm not. And I felt, but I sensed myself, hell, if I didn't die now, I'm, gonna, I'm good. I'm going to live to 100 because there's no way I'm having a heart attack if I didn't have one two days ago. So anyway, uh, the golf course is open and it's, it's very exhilarating. I shouldn't have played golf though because now I have to stay up till four in the morning getting ready for my seminar this week. But you know, you take some good and with the bad. Uh, so this is, uh, we're all about to have a victory. I truly, truly believe that. Masterclass fun. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, it's a video. So Tony, I see your face. Can you nod yes or no uh, when the video is playing if you can hear it, okay? Okay. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Just thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, I think we're on day, I don't know, whatever day it is. Uh, but I just want to tell you that here at home, we're just having such a great time. Everybody is just wonderful. They, um, you know, we get up in the morning and we're just so fortunate with uh, how well we get along and spending all this time together. And I mean, we're, we're doing puzzles, we're, we're helping each other. Um, you know, in times like this, it just brings everybody um, close to the next level. You know, the kids are in their 20s. I've been married to Charlie uh, for, I don't know, 28 years. and. I just can't, I'm just overwhelmed with um, appreciation of who we are um, as a family. And I just cannot wait for the, uh, the next four weeks that we're just going to be here at home. And I'm just really fortunate. So I thought I'd give you a quick update. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, all of us. I just thought that was hysterically funny that this lady is like, so anyway, um, she has been rescued. So, and she's not in the mastermind. I saw people going, who is that? And she's not in the mastermind, she's just some random person. All right, master class speaker sheets, here we go. So this is what has to be on the speaker one sheets. Um, there are media one sheets and speaker one sheets. Today we're focusing on speaker one sheets. Some people sent me their media one sheets and I'll look at those but these are focused on speaker. The, the distinction is whether you want to get on radio shows, podcasts, or TV, 
or whether you want to get on stages as a speaker. So this is focused on speaker one sheets. So these are the things that have to go on a speaker one sheet. The first thing is who you are, pretty obvious. Now the beauty of this is I'm recording this. Oh gosh, I hope I'm recording it. Mm. Yes, you are. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm just, I know I always set it up to record, but I just have that fear. All right, so uh, obviously you have to tell everyone who you are, uh, that's your bio on the uh, speaker one sheet. Uh, a recent headshot. Now I, I made recent a little bit bigger and, and underlined it because here's the deal. The, the, this is with modeling in my, in my wife's world of modeling. If a model sends over a headshot then, and, and, and a, a photo shoot, a bunch of shots, we're sending that to the client. And the client is expecting, especially in the modeling world, that person to show up. Now it's not as dire in the speaker world. However, it kind of might be as well because if you send over a shot 25 years ago and they wanted some young whatever, guy or girl, younger, like say 30 to 35 to show up because that's the audience that they're going to and a 60 year old person shows up without the headshot, with that, with uh, total, looking totally different than the headshot, that, that's not good. And they will uh, call you on it and they will say, you are not the person that we booked. So yes, ego is involved. I have an old headshot too, I get it. But on my one sheet, oh shit, I have to sneeze. Don't worry, I'll protect myself and you won't, won't get this. Um, uh, my speaker one sheet, has current pictures of me on stages, so I don't have that headshot that you've seen since 1926. But you need a recent headshot, and it must be a professional headshot. It cannot be from your iPhone. It can't be that your husband took this shot. It needs to be great lighting. You just need to uh, look amazing on these one sheets. You know, my son Tyler just uh, wrote a script for one of his classes at TCU. And it's funny, they get um, graded on the, not only the content of the script, like the story and, and the dialogue and all that, but this teacher is teaching them how to be professional writers as well. So if you're gonna hand Steven Spielberg a script, it should be in the right script format. The spelling errors should be none. The formatting should be perfect. And he got like a hundred, uh, not none on the whole thing, I get like a 90 something, but a hundred for the section of formatting and all that stuff. And the teacher made a big point of it in saying to Tyler, here's the deal. Yes, every, everyone is gonna buy the story and the characters and all that, but if you don't have the right format and you don't have the right spelling and everything that we expect to get when we're readers, then you lose automatically. And even if your story is good, they're never gonna get to the story because they're gonna look at it initially. Their initial take is not a professional writer into the garbage. Same thing with these speaker one sheets. If you half-ass it and you do not get a professional person to make it look amazing, which I'm gonna share some things that you could add in a one sheet to make it look like a graphic designer designed it, then you're just gonna be thrown away. It's a waste of money. And I know you're trying to save money, not you guys, the other people in this world, are gonna to try to save money by doing it yourself because there are these template programs out there. And while you could get away with it with these template programs on Kartra because they're really good, a one sheet doesn't have a template like that. One sheets are graphic designers actually adding um, uh, graphic uh, pictures, graphic uh, text, graphic, graphic um, icon, whatever it is, to it to make it look different and customized. Headshot is a big, big thing. It has to look professional. Otherwise, it's out right away. You don't even get past they're not gonna even read it if your headshot's blurry or not, not, not professionally laid into the design of the one sheet. Uh, clearly defined area of expertise. You need to clearly define who you are. So I'm like the marketing guy. That's what I, that's what I was uh, for years and I'm still gonna go out as a marketing speaker to corporations. Hold on. I keep forgetting to turn my phone off. I apologize. Bye-bye. Uh, clearly defined area of expertise. So uh, I've gone out and I'll still go out as a marketing speaker to corporations, but now I'm changing everything to rock your life for the entrepreneur world. So I have to clearly define that my area of expertise is helping people 
rock their life, rock their business, um, helping them in um, getting successful in life and business. I have to clearly define that. Uh, potential speaking topics. These are the speak, speaking topics that you are great at. It's great to list three at minimum. You should have three topics. If you only have one in the beginning, that's totally fine. But it's better to have two or three. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I think I do. But I use two pages. My one sheet is front and back. And you can have a uh, front and back and you can have just a one sheet. Depending on, how, depending on how much information you have. And I'll show you some examples of that in a few minutes. Uh, the list of groups you've spoken to. So if you have not spoken to any groups yet because you're a brand new speaker, then don't list like one group. Don't do that. Just leave that part off. But if you've spoken to at least three or four or five, five or better is better. Even four, maybe three is like, ah, not, not that professional. So at least five, you can say speaking uh, uh, groups I've spoken to include if you want. But remember, you could also do lunch and learns at like a restaurant and you could just you know, come up with the name of your event that you spoke at as well. So list the groups that you've spoken to, the more the merrier, and I'll show you where that would go on the page later. And then also what kind of groups you've spoken to. Do you speak to corporations, entrepreneurs, or do you speak to women's groups, or do you speak to uh, leadership councils? What are the kind of groups that you've spoken to so that if they get it, they'll understand, oh, this is our person. Uh, benefits for their audience. What, are the, what is the audience going to learn from your talk? What are the benefits? We always talk about features versus benefits. What are the benefits that their audiences will get from you being a speaker. And it's just listing a couple of uh, items right there. You could also put that in your speaking topic. Like I think in my, my benefits are actually in my speaking topic um, paragraphs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Obviously your contact info, um, someone is uh, talking, mute yourselves please. Some um, contact info, obviously it's your name, uh, your email address and a telephone number and a website would be great. <clears throat> and then if you're really good, contact info to your media page. So actually have like mine is, I think it's craigdoswalt.com forward slash media. And so if I put that on my <clears throat> one sheet, which I'm redoing for Rock Your Life, I'll put that media page on there. Then media people could just go there and see uh, all the stuff that they would need to book you as a speaker or, um, or a podcast or an event. Uh, it's also a media page for event planners as well. So event planners and, and clients. So you should directly send them to that exact page, not just your website. Uh, testimonials, obviously testimonials are great. And here are two types of testimonials that you should have. One, what audiences have said, Number one, what audiences have, have said about you. That would be like, oh my gosh, Craig was amazing. Uh, uh, I sat there for two hours just amazed at what his content was. Da, da, da. But more importantly, what clients or event planners have said about you. And that could be two little sections. Or you could have one section with, um, and you just have like Tony Caruso event planner or, or Tony Caruso signature events, event planner, just mention that she's an event planner if she's one of your testimonials. So it's from the audience testimonials and client slash event planner testimonials. Very, very important. All right, I put up three that I just grabbed online. These are three that are not in my mastermind, but I just wanted to point <clears throat> some of these out. So this is a two page, um, two page uh, one sheet. This is the front page. Can you guys see my cursor? Tony, not? Okay, great. This is the front page. Obviously, that's the back page. Now, the reason why I, I chose this one, I have no idea who Derry Latimer is. But right off the bat, I'm thinking Derry is a very fun, out-of-the-box speaker because of the hairdo. She is very clear on putting four pictures of her with this wild and crazy hair. So she's not going to be, in my opinion, the speaker that's going to speak behind a podium and just bore us to death. Now, uh, uh, other parts are here. She threw a testimonial here next to her name. This is a great graphically designed page.
page. Uh, so she put a testimonial right next to her face. Uh, her name is top left and a little like a uh, comic book uh, call out the uh, bubble, the bubble. Uh, this is her um, bio, but or not necessarily her bio, but it's what she will be talking about or what she does in front of audiences, which is kind of the bio. But what's great is she also calls out uh, some words, experts. So if no one wants to read this entire bio, bio, what they're going to look at is these white words, expert, fewer than 10% speakers, uh, optimal client satisfaction, 20 years of experience, inspiration. All right, so she's in, inspiration and she gives information. Positivity, productivity, profitability. Looks like she has this 3P program, which is great. And then emotional intelligence, then she just gives all these other words that are popping out of her bio. Those are great. Her positively speaking presentation topics goes along with the, the, uh, the, um, the, the graphic design of the actual uh, piece. So positively speaking presentation uh, topics, these are her four, five uh, topics and just one sentence of what it is. She throws another picture down here to break it up. Book Derry today, telling him what to do. Email address, telephone number, and the website address. Here, down here, are the, um, the um, certifications that she has. I have no idea what any of them are uh, because I have no certifications, yet I speak all the time. So I, I don't believe you have to have certifications, but it's nice to have a couple. But she's in three of these really cool looking things, whatever they are. Then on the back, she has her testimonials, again, set off by a couple of pictures, but more testimonials, um, like a school one, uh, the government, she's breaking it up, a technologist, an assistant manager, manager of quality insurance, and uh, a volunteer, see, now maybe nonprofit. It says, wow, maybe she does non nonprofit stuff too by adding that word in there. The resources, this is a great section because she says contact her again and again on front and back. But uh, her book is here, her cards, I guess she sells cards and is here, and her app is here, Mood Manager. No idea what that is, but she has an app. It's really interesting. Get to know Derry and follow her for nonstop positivity, throwing the brand back in her call to action, and then she has the links. Now, if this is a speaker website, a speaker one sheet, that is online, these would be clickable. Otherwise, we have to go to Facebook and we would type in Derry Dat Latimer um, into whatever that says. So these are all, I don't put these there because most of them I'm sending out in a flyer. In my flyers, I don't put these, but if they're online, your speaker one sheet's online, absolutely uh, click on these. So that's just one example of one. Does anyone have any questions about this one? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Next one is Melissa Evans. No idea who she is, but, um, and I'm sorry, it's a little blurry, but it was a low res version, but this is a cleaner one than this one. This is like wild and crazy fun, right? So this one feels more corporate, like the guru of implementation. She has a picture next to her name, very big letters, Melissa Evans presentations. And this is great. Offered as keynotes, workshops, breakout sessions, retreats. So she just told us, she doesn't only do keynotes, but she could do a workshop, she could do a breakout sessions. Oh, and she does retreats as well. Just adding four other places that she can speak at. Threw a testimonial in there right away. Um, and these are all her testimonials on the left. So she led with her testimonials. This is her bio underneath her picture, which is kind of cool picture bio under the picture um and then um she she called out this one i can't really read it because it's blurry but i like that she called out one of the testimonials on the bottom left and made it a different thing this must be a very important person for who her audience is once again book melissa evans the guru of imp implementation telephone number website email address on the back i love this gold thing here that gold thing and partial list of her clients. She leads with Microsoft, okay? Right there, she's got her, her attention. But she has a list of great people in a clever little way to set it off with this um, glow, uh, gold half circle. Uh, so that's also good. And then 
she has a book and she's giving the soul to soul uh, about her book. So she's giving a little bio about her book and then she's giving bios about uh, testimonials about her book on the back page. So front page is mostly for speaking. Back page is for her book showing that she's an expertise. So she didn't only just put the book on it. She actually told a little bit about the book and she had testimonials for the book because she had plenty of room because it's a two page one sheet. So that's a great way to add your book and not just putting a picture of your book, but you, if it's two pages and you have room, then you could do something like that. And then this one's a very blurry. I just added another one It's very blurry, but I just want to show you, there's a ton of information here. She has like a lot of stuff here, but because it's designed nicely, it's not as crazy. It's very organized. I can see this is one section here on the left. These are the talks right here. This is about Carol, more rave reviews here. And I don't know what that is because I can't read it, but it's another section. So, oh, she delivers, oh, I know what it is. This is her bio on the back page next to her picture. This is uh, what she delivers uh, in her talks, like her quality of stuff, extreme something, substance and style, a value added resource. And then next to it, she talks about exactly what her speaking topics are. She has four speaking topics. And once again, again, putting in where she's spoken with logos. I like putting in, if you don't have too many, the logos of where you've sp spoken before. at and is going to stop, pop out, and all these other ones are just going to be, just, it just breaks it up in between rave reviews and her bio, just breaks it up. So these are just three examples of, of good looking. This one especially, if you're fun, if you're a fun speaker and exciting, like, I'm looking at my Rock Your Life. I want to do more something like this because my other one, which I'll show you in a minute, was very corporate because I was getting tons of entrepreneur ones, but I wanted to focus on corporations, even though I was still using it for entrepreneurs. But even though the pictures are kind of cool, but it's not fun and crazy like this. I need to make mine more rock and roll, and that's what I'll be working on in the next one. All right, so that's the end of the PowerPoint version. Anyone have any questions right now? And it's okay if you don't. Craig, you have a lot of, um, there's a lot of copy on those. They were yeah. very yeah. busy. Yep. It, I find it too much to read, but that's personally me. I um, agree, Tony. Yeah, I think they're just, they're too filled. So I don't want people to think that if they don't have all that information, not to fill it up with stuff because it's not necessary. White space is much, much better. However, if you have a lot of information, these are the ones that you, if it's, if it's, I'll just give you mine. Mine is hugely a lot. Well, the front page, oh. just the uh, pictures, um, these are recent pictures, thank heaven. Um, but it just has my bio on the front. On the back, it's very, very copy heavy because it's only list, it's listing what they get in each one. However, because it's organized, as Donnerin kind of stands out, but each one is a topic. So they're really only looking at this. Corporate keynote topics, how to achieve rock star status in your industry, rock star motivation, rock star market. They're not reading any of that stuff, but the information is there if they need it. If any of these old out red popping uh, sections uh, talks to them, speaks to them, then they'll read actually, but I agree a billion percent, everything when I um, used to uh, be a creative director for ad agencies, white space is gold. So don't feel like Tony just said that you have to fill up space. If you have a lot of information, you can. And as long as it's organized and looks clean, then you can get away with it. But if it's a jumbled mess, no, you, you, you won't. You, you got to get rid of it with the white space. So this, these are mine. And then I'm going to go over a couple of others. Let's do I notice you don't have any testimonials. Yeah. yeah. No, this is my old one. And uh, this is my, but, but you know what's really funny? I have no testimonials on here. But this one sheet got me, I don't even mention Guns N' Roses that much on here. Just that little thing here. Air supply. Yeah, but uh, that's all I mentioned. I just put two little logos. But for some reason, this booked a lot. Now, I will say... The people that I sent these to, I had a background with, kind of, 
So, but you're right. Uh, the new one will have testimonials and all that stuff. This is an old one from my Rockstar marketing days, but it worked and I never changed it because I was like, ah, this is working. But you are absolutely right. Uh, you have to add a lot more. I have to add a lot more stuff to the new one. Um, let's go to, let's, go to let's just stay with Tony's. All right, so Tony's is clean. It's, it's so clean. Like beautifully clean, beautifully clean. So the first thing I'm going to look at is go is is like wow, clean. She's got it all together. Now it's an interesting thing. So do you guys know what crop marks are? These little crop marks. Now in if I was looking at this as the sheet, there's a mistake here. But I know what I think. Did Tony? Uh, did um, Katrina do this? Yeah. Okay. So Katrina is a graphic designer and she uses crop marks. These crop marks, this line from here down is not going to be seen. So this little section right here is not going to be seen. Whereas if I thought this was a one sheet, I would say, here's a mistake. You can't cut off her thing like that because that just looks stupid. But the crop is going right here. So the page that we'll see is right on the edge of here. So that's what, so it looks like Tony's going off the page. So that is great. If this was not cropped, no crop marks here, I would say, no, you can't have that. You need to finish the circle to the edge of the page, but that's what she has done. So, so this is not the final version. This is going to a printer that will use the crop marks to cut here and there on top and the bottom. So those are called crop marks. Anyway, so I'm not, addressing this because this is perfect because this is called a bleed uh bleed me oh, off the page so when you when you cut this her uh her picture is bleeding off the page if it was a no bleed say these uh crop marks weren't here if this was a no bleed sheet that you would print on your computer because you have to have little edges on your complete computer this would show and that would be bad but I know that she's, because of the crop marks, she's getting these printed somewhere and they're gonna cut them. So bleed means it, it goes off the edge of the page uh, and no bleed means it stays inside the page. I'll show you one again. Mine has the same thing. I, I should just point, mine has crop marks here. These are the, uh, showing the printer, the colors. So these are the crop marks here. So it's gonna be cut here all the way down. So a little of this picture will be cut. So this will be cut, so it'll just look, it'll, it'll, this will be cut down here. The black bleeds over to the edge. I think you got it now. I think I've said too much about bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I just wanted you to make sure. So that being said, this is phenomenal. This is great, the founder, her popular topics. So I would add speaking topics, and I know it's a speaker thing, but um, I don't see, uh, well, I do see, book, so book Tony as your net, Next keynote speaker, perfect, perfect, perfect. The logos are all great right here. She's into books. Um, I don't know if she says, I don't know if you say that you're an author in these books. Might wanna mention that. Um, she does, you do have plenty of space. This one is a little funky because it just kind of floats. But we had, hard, we had a hard time trying to figure out where to know, put that. And I'm looking at it going, I wouldn't even know what to do with it. I understand why you're doing it up there. It's your business. So this is a, it's just a funky place, but I don't know where else to put it. So it's fine there. It's not, no one's going to go, well, that's a weird place for it. Uh, unless you're- You just did. <laughs> unless I was a creative director. But most people, most people can't- at the bottom. Most people can't even see two spaces in between things. So, you know, but, so that's the one little thing that looks a little funky. Other than that, that's great. All right, backstage secrets to build your business on stage. All right, I personally don't like the quotes, uh, the colon after these things. I just, I, I would I would get rid of those. That's just a personal thing, not needed. Um, and I would bold this. I, th these do not look bold. I would bold these three just to make them set off a little bit more from the font type of this. It's the same font, but I would make this thicker, the headlines. The three headlines. All right. Uh, backstage secrets, but, uh, that's great. Putting butts in seats is awesome. And monetize your events so you don't lose your shirt, which is awesome. Take the stress out of your... Uh, 
Oh, what I would add, Tony, is this. In mine, this is very, you don't have to do this. I feel that we're making the meeting planner's job easier if we do this. Somewhere in there, I write on all mine, this uplifting and very entertaining keynote is 45 to 60 minutes and is perfect for da da da. You might want to add how long, and this goes for everybody, how long your topic is. Is this a 45 to 60 minute speech, which I would um, highly suggest you do? It is not imperative. I just try to make the job of the event planner easier, saying, well, is this a 90 minute presentation? Does this person understand? We uh, only usually do 60 minutes. So I would write 45 to 60 minute presentation and then right here, 45 to 60 minute presentation and then speaking as a business, da, da, da. Uh, I would add a little bit more to this one because it kind of looks lonely. Uh, you have four lines here, two lines here. Just add another BS line here about one of the hardest things to do is to get people to come to an event. And so Tony will share with you. Oh, big one, big one. Use this third person. Tony, uh, uh, Tony will teach you how to make the most of every stage you step onto. In other words, like this is not coming from you, Tony. This is coming from your company saying, okay, Tony will teach you. Does yeah. that make sense? Do yeah, that. total. Oh, great. Uh, praise in 13 years. Uh, oh, this is a great one. This is awesome. Whoever wrote that. Let's do that. And then Caruso's signature events is on the bottom. And so now I'm, I have one little thing that I might tweak. Okay. Um, just one? No, because I said it looks amazing. But as far as design, I didn't see book Tony as a keynote speaker right away because I naturally looked for it down here. Okay. Um, I did see it after I said, and then there's the contact. Oh, there it is. It's underneath. Now it makes sense going into your picture and I like it, but for some reason my eye didn't go there. So consider moving all these up and maybe putting it on the bottom and see what that looks like next to Caruso signature events and putting the contact down there. Just see what it looks like. You have plenty of space. Would you put it like in black and have it white or something so it stands out? Yeah, you can do that. Yep, some sort of graphic behind it, right. a graphic color behind it so it pops. Yep, because the most important piece is really right here, is okay. the book Tony. It kind of gets lost up there, only and and it gets lost kind of because the red is here and red is here. So okay. it, I know it's a graphic and a text, but it kind of blends a little bit. Okay. But these are all great. So this is if I if I left it alone the way it is right now, it would be totally fine. These are just little nitpicky things, but right. the design is great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Jesse. Jesse, are you here? Yes, I am. Hi, sir. How are you? I am good. How are you? I'm just fine and dandy, my friend. All right, so Jesse's. Jesse Mogul, keynote speaker, author, podcaster. That's great up there. You have plenty of room up here, so I would definitely do Jesse Mogul way bigger way, way bigger. So, so this one is very easy and straightforward and laid out easy and straightforward. It's laid out very easy and straightforward, <laughs> but the, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying who designed this. I'm just saying there's, there's really no, no design to it. It's, it's laid out very nice. So if this was the best you can do because you had no money and no connections in the world to get someone better, I would almost let this go except for the fact it's too bland. It's too gray. Gray is just not a good color. So little specifics. Uh, this is a mistake here. You can't have this line go to here and that line go to there. That's got to be across the top. That's a pretty easy fix. So now this little situation here, which is a great, someone, if you're going to talk and just give comments, that's okay, but make it a comment, but don't just like, uh, so mute yourself if you're just going to talk about it, unless it's a question. 
So Jesse, here's the problem with this circled picture. As compared to Tony's that bled off the page, yours kind of just floats out there and just looks like a half cylinder thing. To fix this, um, I would do something like this. Let me go into my website. It's a very easy fix. Uh, making it a circle around it. Here, I'll give you my speakers. My little speakers have a white circle with a drop shadow around it. At least it's something to encase this floatiness. So you need, you need to, because this just looks weird here, 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 it looks like a, a fan almost. So, but circle the whole thing and it would look way, way better if you did something like that. Uh, if you don't leave just, okay, this white space here is, we love white space, but not that white space. That just looks like either it's a mistake or something. You have plenty of room to add another testimonial. This needs to be filled up. Or move these two up and put a graphic here of another picture of you on stage or something to break up the testimonial. This moves up, this moves up, and you move down there. Let me just do this. Yeah, that was going to be uh, logos. I just hadn't done that yet, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to. Not that I'm making another. This is an excuse town or anything. Okay. That would one day yeah. be. So then I, I see what you're saying. Then this moves up, this moves up, and then you can put like your logo here to break up because you have picture here. You don't want to put a logo right there. Now I don't know what logo you're talking about, but if you're talking about your what logo you're talking about. Uh, logos from the places I've spoken at. I've got some colleges. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would break it up. So I would move the testimonials up and put the logos here, the where you've spoken in this section down here. This is all fine down here. Um, so the signature keynotes are fine. And this copy here is fine probably to read, but it just looks... Um, uh, not good. <laughs> I don't know how to ask to play it. It's that centered copy. So what you're doing here is doing center. You're centering all the lines, but yeah. down here, you're justified left. Now we have a disconnect between here and here. So I would keep it ju justified left uh, all the way through. Okay. Or even justified right. No, 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 justified left. Someone want to say something? Um, uh, but Jesse, I need, uh, uh, who designed this? <laughs> okay. Me. Okay. Right. I, I am I, amazing. If, if you want to take this seriously, you have a good foundation. This whole thing is a good foundation. This is a great point, a uh, great point of where you're at with it to now give it to somebody to design. I am just going to share this, and this is not bashing Jesse at all, because to tell you the truth, for him designing this, not being a graphic designer, it's actually pretty good. You could, you could uh, do a couple of things with colors to make it better, but I'm telling you, Jesse, if you want to get speaking gigs, if you're serious about your business, spend the $150 to $200 with Joe Potter to have him do this. I don't know if it's that the price now, but it used to be. Uh, just ask him or ask a graphic designer uh, uh, to do this. It's not that hard to take what you've done and, uh, and make them make it better because you've, you've taken all the hard part out now. Now they just need to redesign. Yeah, I, uh, Joe's the one who did my book cover uh, with Karen uh, Strauss Publishing. So I, I've got a relationship with that guy. I didn't know oh, he did. There you so. go. Yeah, he and I have emailed back and forth. Uh, yeah, he, I think he, he was really, really uh, nice about how many times I asked him to revise that, that book cover. So. Yeah, he's amazing. He's, he's very easy to work with. He'll just he'll keep revising, revising, revising yes. all yes. the time. Yes. All right, so, uh, all right, Jesse. So uh, I, I'll, I'd love to see, before you send this out, the next version. <laughs> Oh, you will. I'm not sending this. I, 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 I wonder if no, you're I, not allowed to send this out. No, I'm no. modeling jessemogul.com after Craig Doeswalt. So like, I built uh, the media page and like I, I saw you had your one sheet on there and photos. And so this was the next step to make that media page what it's supposed to be. And so this won't go out to you until you prove it. 
cool. And if you have a, um, a um, picture of you speaking on stage somewhere, you should get that in here. In other words, okay. another thing, guys, just um, really, really quick, when you're doing testimonials, just do something here. It's always usually dash the person's name, comma, event planner on one line. So it would be Matt Browning. Uh, it would be dash Matt Browning, and on the next line, founder, comma. I mean, no, next to it. I'm sorry, next to it, founder, comma, evolution uh, seminars. It should try to fit on one line. And this does not have to be bigger than this, and it should be the same font. It can be a different color, though, to set it off. Let me just look at something here. I wish I'd have given you my original one, uh, because I had a, the, the, the top was a banner photo of me speaking on stage, but my arms were wide out like I was taking on applause, and the microphone in my right hand was basically getting ready to bump that picture that you, that oh, you know, okay. And so I wish I'd have shown that just so you would have said, I mean, was it okay the fact that the microphone was basically like a half of the- Well, in, in your next round, show that to me, in your next round. All right, okay. so what Tony did here, this is how you do a testimonial. Now it could be on the next line by itself, but it could also be here. Uh, Craig does not rock your life, just right next to the end. Don't make it, it can be another line right down here, but here's this little thing. This is so funny you do this, because I love this little thing. No idea what it's called, but that little thing, instead of just a dash, it's on your computer's usually at the top left somewhere. I don't even, it's a squiggly line, I call it, but it is so much more artistic than the typical big, uh, big dash. I believe so, it's called Tilda. What is it? Tilda. T I L. Yes. Tilda. Very good. That's what it's called. Who, who said that? Jesse. Very good, Jesse. Yeah, that's Tilda. Yep. Tilda is very cute, Tilda. Not to be confused with Tilda Swinton. It's just a Tilda. Right. <laughs> uh, hey, did you all see who's, uh, look who I have. Look who I have. I have, oh, I have more. This isn't even updated. Hold on. So we have this weekend, Chris Harrison, Thursday night, Friday morning at 9 a.m., first thing, Russell Hitchcock. Glenn Morshow is going to end it. Les Brown's in there. Larry Broughton, Garrett Gunderson, if you want to know anything about your money right now, amazing. And I might have gotten, oh, I can't show that yet. I'm trying to get one other, at least one other person. But uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Hey, you got to sign up for, I sent the link to Zoom. Now you got to re-register on Zoom, just so you know. All right, let's go to PK's. PK, you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you? So once again, once again, first of all, this is great because this is a different way of doing it, but it's really good having her name inside the picture and, and, who, and who she is inside the picture. And this is why I'm, I'm glad that she showed me this one. Then if you do it like that, then you can add like stuff like this up top. So money, health, and love secrets, I love that. And it, this is her bio. Now this is a, a, obviously a media page because it says PK's media topics. And then these are her topics. Now, a media page, difference between a media page and a speaking page is very minimal. She could almost just say PK's speaking topics and probably get away with it with a couple of tweaks maybe in the uh, copy itself. Um, uh, this uh, other picture is good. So uh, Feng Shui, she just looks like that person right here in this picture. That's just a headshot, but here she's got the garb that makes me think, okay, that's what she is. The bottom is great. The only thing I would do is uh, to book PK instead of just contact, to book PK for your next um, podcast for your next specific try to be specific here call that number there's your address uh, i don't see a website address you might want to add that because people want to uh, do that here's one thing that i did not mention if it's a speaker topic speaker the website the website's in the bottom left corner 
Oh, there it is. Okay. So, so because I didn't see it, that's a red flag that you should at least look at and maybe put it over here because when I'm reading this, because first of all, I'm seeing, when I'm reading down here, I see the picture and I naturally go down. I naturally go down after I see a picture. So I'm reading here first. Well, I see the picture here just because it stands out, but then I'm going to go here, but I don't necessarily, I don't go down here. I now go over to here because it's another picture. This is just some huh. marketing, graphic design stuff. So I go here. The next thing I do is I go down here. I do not go here yet. I see mm -hmm. the picture, then I'm going down here. So mm -hmm. I missed this because I'm used to seeing these little symbols and I'm assuming the bottom row is all of those um, social media stuff. So I lost that down there. I would just put that here and then put based in LA down here. That's, okay. what, that's what I would do. Now, let me just share this because uh, this is a great, great, great thing to add to a speaker one sheet especially. And I do this on my Rockstar keynote speakers based in Los Angeles um, slash Monterey Park, California. Because that will show, if I'm in California, it's not gonna cost me a lot of money to get her here to pay for travel. So if I'm doing an event in Los Angeles, now she stands out way more than someone else that's in New York because she's local and I don't have to pay for their flight and everything. It hurts if you're going to New York, but it's still a truthful thing that you should add to your speaker one sheets. So I forgot about that. I do it in Rockstar Keynote Speakers, uh, our um, site for Speakers Bureau, but I don't put it here. But this is a great thing that I would add for everybody to add that. So thank you, PK. So the great. look of it, the look of it is, is great. You've had this designed, obviously. Yes. Okay. Lifetime keys, what is that? Um, that's where I do teach people their personal directions. It's what sets me apart from all other feng shui people out there. Well, at least 95% of the other feng shui people. Okay, but like what, what, like what direction is your creative mind direction versus your analytical mind for when you're writing your copy versus editing your copy? But is this a, is this your brand of something? It's a product that I, yeah, I have. Oh, it's a product. Okay. So it's just kind of, the only thing I would just say, it just kind of floats. It's, I don't know what it is. You know? Okay. It's kind, uh, kind of like Tony's floating. Uh, yeah. Tony's floating. Tony had her floater up there. You got your floater here. Um, but I just don't know what this is. So, you know, there's ways of incorporating, maybe just adding a line, uh, uh, check out PK's. It, so, it is it, it is mentioned in the last paragraph of my bio. It started yeah, the last paragraph yeah. of my bio talks I about it. I see it there. Yep, I see it there. But no one's going to connect that. Okay, no got it. But but this is a great. I like it because it offsets the two pictures and this. So I like it. But I would just add some sort of line down there that just says, just say, uh, uh, check out PK's uh, thing. Uh, okay, got uh, it. Product or whatever it is. But this looks great. Uh, is this the same color, PK, as that? I'm 99% sure it is. What? Is what? Is orange what? type thing the same as that color? It, it is. is the, I'm sure it is. No, no. The gold of the key is not quite the same color as the gold text on there. So this is a different color than that. I, I think the gold of the key is just slightly a different color than the gold of the text. Got it. No, no, no. But here, you see my two pink circles? Is the contact information color the same as noteworthy praise? Um, yes, those two are the same color okay. as the header for PK's media topics. Yeah. Pop header. So, so if, if she wanted to be perfect, which we don't have to be perfect, but because this gold color is here in the key, I might ask the designer to make it the same gold as here. Because this looks a little orangey. And that looks golder, and I like golder better. Just gold goes with blue very, very well. Okay. Orange and blue is okay, it stands out. But since you have this gold, these are just some things that a creative director would look at and say, since this gold is here, why not? It's, because it's so close to this, let's just make all these this color. Just Got it. Just an extra little. Thank you. Craig, can this I ask a good. question? Yes. Um, because your eye goes from picture to picture, 
Would it be better if her picture was justified left? And could, the yep, great point. So, so Tony is saying, because it does go here and you wanna uh, keep them, uh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> what's the word, excited, or keep them focused on what you're doing, it might be better to throw this over here and put that copy over here. I'd have to see it laid out, but yes, this is very uh, uh, picture heavy right and copy heavy left. That would offset it. Great point, Tony. Also with the bottom, the contact information, it bothers me that it's floating right justified. Yeah. Either it needs to be centered or left justified. I mean- Now these are all justified left. Uh, I understand why they did it is because the testimony is right here and they have to justify it. But because this picture is here, you might want to justify it right. Does that, look, I spelled oil. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I might justify it right here. Oral. Did you hear that, PK? I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I heard that part, but somebody else said something. I didn't oh. hear. No, Craig. Craig, I think because of the angle of her picture, I don't know how it looked on the other side. It'll almost look so, like. So thank you, Santa. I was just going to say, I just noticed mm -hmm. one thing. Thank you so much. And I, great minds think alike. If you do move this picture here, you must face in. You cannot face out of the, um, out of yeah. the uh, one sheet. Is that what yeah. you were saying, Shanta? Yes. Yeah, we, we could flip. The yeah, you can easily flip, flip the picture, 100%. Mm -hmm. but, um, but that's a great, great point. And as soon, I was looking at this justified, making these lines, and then I said, I was looking at this picture going, wait, <laughs> this here, you can't look that way. So yeah. thank you, Shanta, that was great. Um, and yeah, Tony, I would justify this right, 100%, because that's just floating out there. Well, if I take the picture to the left side and flip it, should I move the contact information under the picture and put all the rest of the text? Um, you, might, you might, well, once again, I'd have to see it, but okay. yes, and then, but yes is the answer. It, I'm not seeing it right now, but then you would definitely keep it justified left when you move that picture over here, and then it would be justified left over here, and then move noteworthy place that way. Because like you said earlier, you go down below the picture to look for the context. So if yeah. I move the picture, I need to move yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. If you move that picture over here, or you can still, yeah. If you move the picture over here, I would have to contact them, yes. Okay. I'd have to see it again, but I'm 90% sure. You see, this is why Joe Potter, this is why we as graphic designers and uh, creative artists, I visually have to see it. I can make all these notes, right? But this is why you have three and four and five rounds. Because right. I might say, this looks great over here, and it would, and then we'll do that underneath. But then something else might be thrown off with something else. So that's why we have to see the next round. But as a layout, as a layout in general, this is good, and I can tell that she had this professionally done. Craig, okay, can I say something? Sure. Uh, if you move the picture on the other side, and move the contact information on the other side and move the uh, bottom part all the way over, then that would be out of sync with the, the uh, other uh, graphic on top, the other text on top. It would be out of sync with what? The other, the other three paragraphs These above paragraphs it. Here? Pardon oh. me? The well, top three paragraphs are my bio. The below the bio, below that line is my topics and my uh, basic testimonials. So are you saying this, Eleanor? This might be now weird if it's over here? No, the, if I understood, they were talking about moving the bottom text over and taking the um, contact and switching it under the picture on the other side. And so the, the bottom part would be not justified with or not the same it would be out of sync with the other so, the top. so because this is like this you're saying this now this down here will be out of sync with what's going on up here no just the, the bottom the very bottom that you're going to move over this switch with the con this one right if you move this over and switch it with the contact information. Right, so once again, 
I, I would like, I, I just, I, I agree. That might look a little funky if we move this picture here and then noteworthy here and contact here. But the graphic designer will know, okay, I'm, I agree moving this picture over would be a good idea. So when I move that over, I might have to redesign other things. That's why I have to see the next round. Like in, in theory, it looks like this just goes over there, this goes over there, this goes over here, this goes over there, it might look good. But it has to, this section here will now have to be offset by something down here with copy. And once again, I'd, I'd have to see the second round. And like I was saying, this is why they have two, three, four rounds. We might move this over and it might look horrible over there because of the way this flows nicely and it might not flow as nice. I am just saying, usually under a picture, you're kind of looking at this. So I'd have to see the next round. I'm going to move Frank, on. I have a question. Yeah. Um, how do you feel? I, I know we've been talking about justifying left and justifying right uh, copy. How do you feel about the, the spread out book copy? Not the center stuff like what was on the first gentleman, yep. gray one. Yeah. But how do you feel about spread out like on the book copy? Yeah. So it's justified right and left, right? Yeah. I hate it. Okay. Personal opinion. I yep. can't stand it. You and I'll tell you why. There, you just don't like it. I just don't like it. But here, I don't know if it's right or wrong. I don't see a lot of books like that. And the reason why is this. When you have big words, you have to knock down sometimes. You have to knock down a word. And then the line above it is pr pretty spread out. And then you have to, or if a word almost fits, you have to kern it. It's called kerning a word in. So you make the word a little thinner, little by, it, you, it, there's too much graphic design that you would have to do to make it look good. Otherwise, okay. that's why you just justify it left. Okay, I hate okay. it because when people wanted to do that, I had more work as a copywriter. Got it. <laughs> so it's all about me, you know. No, it's all about being efficient and time saving. I, I agree. All right, Melody Keemer Harper the third. Melody, are you there? I feel it. I'm feeling it. She might be there. She can't find the mute button. She found the mute button, but she's fallen down and can't get up. Something is awry. All right, then I'm not going to, well, I'll do this really, really quick. Overall, now I know her website and everything, and it looks the same. Um, it's not, uh, I'll tell you what I do love. i tell you what I do love here. Where's my annotations? Come on. Yeah. Come on. There they yeah. go. There they are. <clears throat> All right. So what I do, <clears throat> someone uh, mute, mute themselves. I love this stuff. I love that. I love that. I love that. That's it. That's what I love. <laughs> now, what I don't like is this is way too small. It's just like up in the okay. corner, kind of hidden. This could be way okay. bigger. That would be but, fine. Yeah, just as long as they could see that, you know. Because it looks like you don't know what you're doing when you send it. Oh, we can hear you. Know, you. Vertical. That's why. How do you mute when I'm in here? Mute. Yeah, because you notice every time you, you went to bow. And this is good because you're learning how to do this. So if it's short, not really big, big auditions, you'll be able to do them at home and save some money. Paula! Paula, we can hear you. you know, and this is a blessing. So, um, and I'm going to put together Paula Mitchell Manning. Uh, what do you call it? Self tape through Zoom. Okay. There we go. Um, all right. So these are, uh, I, I think this could be bigger. Her name, the logo could definitely be bigger. But there's, these, like I said, these two graphics are great, but there needs to be some sort of graphic in here, either splitting it up because it just kind of flows into each other. Uh, these need to be a different color, the headlines uh, setting out. Uh, notice here, here's another big uh, mistake, kind of. Media topics is, ju is justified here. The things are, should be inset just a hair, but then testimonials in here. Testimonials should line up with media topics. So testimonial should move over. Having one testimonial is not good either. Now it's from Jack Canfield, 
But Melanie, come on, you know like so many other people that you could get way more testimonials. So uh, this is all fine contact, once again, uh, to book Melody or on your next podcast or something like that. Just make it more exciting, more inviting. Uh, I like this stuff. This is good. A value add for your audience, I would say, not for audience, for your audience, audience, making it specific to them. Learn powerful business success strategies. Learn multiple streams of income. Learn how to stand out as the expert in your industry. So these, unfortunately though, are all features. These are not benefits of, of the company. These are all features. So if you're going to add this, which I like, value add for your audience, make sure it's a benefit. So underneath all of your um, come on your speaking topics. This is a good thing to add value add for your audience. Make sure there's a benefit there. But since Melanie is not here, that's, I'm just going to just share that for her. And then we're just going to move on. Craig. Oh yeah. I, I have a question. It's PK. Yeah. Do you think, uh, do you think it's just a waste of ink to put email, phone and website in front of that under contact? 100%. Now it's not bad. It's, it doesn't hurt. But I agree a billion percent it's not needed. But once again, it's not, it's not like it's a bad thing. But we know that's the email address. We know that's a phone number. And we know that's a website. Yeah. So great point. You don't have to have that at all. In fact, let's get rid of it. Just go. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So let's get out of this. And I think, let me just look through my emails. Let me stop the share just in case one of my surprises is in here. <laughs> Let's see here. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Demi. Demi says, if you think this sucks, there's no need to put it up there. Well, I can tell you right now, Demi, you are adorable. So just a caveat, this last thing was, I haven't worked on this since October. Yeah. And a ton has changed in the last, what, six months? Yeah. So um, I've got additional topics and stuff that I can add. And so I've made notes, but. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to, I am going to put it up there because right. actually I like it. So this is Demi's and just now I know her website and I know the colors of her website. So right off the bat, the design is phenomenal. It's phenomenal, it's like a phenomenal. Big letters up here, beautiful picture there, who she is here. So the, the only thing I just, okay, here's one little, this is a minor thing, but don't do this. My annotations. Yeah, they, it takes like an hour for them to come. Just make sure you use the right color to annotate this one. <laughs> I know, right? Let me do that. Good, 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 good thinning. I'll do blue. Uh, but plus, this was before my last set of headshots was taken. And then I've lost 25 pounds since those last set of headshots were taken. So I'm Go, Dammy. Go, Dammy. Go, Dammy. I found <laughs> your 25 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. You can keep it. No. Uh, you see that little thing down here, the word two? This is a very minor thing. But because the only thing that's sticking into this graphic down here is half of the word two, just don't do that. that yeah. That's not a big deal, but just don't do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, caught, I caught that right after I, I printed it so I can make notes on it. And I looked at it. I'm like, oh, shit. I missed that one. <laughs> that's okay. So yeah, you I, know my bio has changed. Here's the big thing, though. I don't know what this is. Now, if it's just promoting... Uh, to get tax clients, uh, clients for your tax business, then this might be fine. Uh, oh, oh, here's another, here's another little issue. This R, this copy is too close to the border, way too close. It should be at least a half inch, just, uh, just because it, on the edge this close, it gives people like they're on a cliff. You, do, okay. you don't want that. So it's just a, it's, it, believe it or not, it's a uncomfortable feeling when it's too close to the edge. Probably has something to do with being on the edge. So move that in. 
uh, contact info. You don't need your address unless you are trying to get. So let me ask you this. What is this? Is this a speaking um, one sheet? What is it? Yeah, speaking to tax pros. Okay. So then, so then right now it's not a speaker one sheet. And I understand you did this a long time ago. So book down here, book Demi right here. Contact information, book Demi, Demara or, okay, here's another thing. What do you want to be, Demara or Demi uh, to the speaker world? To the, uh... I know, but this is huge. We all know you as Demi and you always put it out there as Demi, but your name is Demara. But what do you want to go out as a speaker? Because it's got to be the same. Well, see, it's actually Demera, which is why I go by Demi. Oh, Demera. It's a lot easier for people to remember. And I remember. always thought it was Demera, but I call you Demi anyway. So Demera, that's way too hard. So your name is Demi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kidding, even though I'm not really kidding. But <laughs> is Demi, what, what do you want to go as? Out as, as a speaker? Do you want to go out as Fred? Huh. I don't know. Um, uh, you need to make that, you don't have to make that decision right now. Yeah. But because of Demera, right? Yeah. No one is going to pronounce that correctly the first time. So you're going to have to make sure people know, because I guarantee when they introduce you, they're going to say, Tamara Woodson. And you're going to go, Demera. So just know that. But if you're not willing to embrace Demi, then it's got to be Demerat, and then you just have to show them how to spell it. The hard part for me is, like, personally, I know people as Demi, but um, legally, like everything that I have to sign and all of that stuff That's in okay. the industry. So I've always been used to be to go by Demerat. When my parents call me Demi, it sounds really weird. Okay. So. Um, I don't know. It's it's been uh, well professionally. It doesn't matter what you sign everything as. You could still say, "Please make checks out to Demer or Woodson." You know, uh, but if you but just 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 figure that out. You got to go out. Some, yes, Dem Demer. I have some uh, input on that because I go by my initials PK, and the only people that only legal people know what that stands for. My I know post what it office. Well, yeah, because you've seen my credit card, but don't share that. But because if people Google me, they're going to Google PK Odal. So if whatever you think people, if you're going to be out in the uh, business world as Demi to make it easier for people to pronounce, then I would just leave everything legal with the proper name on, on all your documents and then just not even share what the Demi is short for and just go with it and commit to it. And, and set it up with your post office. And even your bank will allow, it, my bank allows me to deposit checks made out to PK Odal. It's not my, it's not my legal name, but they take the checks. Yep. Uh, same thing with me. People write, please don't do this. Please write checks to Craig Doeswalt International if you ever have to write me a check. But people write checks out to Rockstar Marketing and they still take them. For, even though it's not officially a DBA, but it's on my bank account. But uh, same thing. So Demi, you could go out as a speaker as Demi and everything could be Demera uh, uh, legally. Um, and I think uh, Demera is actually a very famous porn star. So you might want to fix that anyway. So I'm kidding. Uh-huh. Demi, I'm kidding. We got TK and PK both on the call. So we're both saying the same thing to you. Oh, there you go. TK, PK. I'm going out as uh, uh, C, C, CK soon. Well, you know, the funny thing is, is my middle initial is K and so I could be DK. DK. No, don't do it. I can't have a TK, a PK, and a DK. It's <laughs> legal. And one mastermind. All right, so back to this. Uh, speaking topic is fine. This is your speaking topic. You must tell it's a speaking topic. And in this current course, you'll learn about that's okay. The bio would go up top, I think. And then the speaking uh, topic would go down here. Get rid of the address. You don't need that. Uh, to book Demi as your next keynote speaker and then or book Demi as your next keynote speaker just give phone email and website and once again I think we've established that you don't need to tell us it's a phone email and thing but the design and I'm not going to spend too much time on this because this is being updated like you said but clearly everyone should look at the design of this is so good so good I love 
the circle here. I love this waviness. I love that circle. Jesse, this is the circle I was talking about around. Like if we took that circle away and she was just like floating out there. Would her. <laughs> but do you see what that does? That little thing, it just makes it so much more interesting. I love this. It makes it 3D, a 3D type of circle, you know? Uh, Demi, this is great. I'd love to see the next version. This is a Canva template. Oh, there you go. So, uh, uh, so did you design this? Yep. Okay. So then, then, let me just share this then. If she got this on Canva, then go to Canva. The only, the only thing, there are some mistakes here. It definitely has to be here. You can't have be too near the edge. This is a little funky. I might bring the uh, circle up and get rid of that little white spot. That is so not a big deal, but that's, that's just there. And it's just like, you look at it and go, why? But other than that, phenomenal, 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 phenomenal. I might well, make if I might add, mine was also a Canva template. So clearly choose templates wisely. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Jesse. Uh, I, Jesse, I wouldn't choose this template. It's too foo foo -y for you. Yeah, it wouldn't work, but clearly, um, you know, I, I got lazy and just grabbed the first thing I saw and started creating. Okay, there, good. There, there's, there's clearly um, further options. To, you know, oh, I didn't see uh, yeah, I mean, if you've, hey, if these are made on, if this was made on Canva, like I said, fixing a couple of little things, go for it. Knock yourselves out, man, because this is great. I even love, I love the angle of this picture. So here, let me just point this out. Just remember with Canva, somebody else may use the exact same template. Right, that, that, is, the, uh, that is the issue with templates. Someone else could use the same template. Uh, this picture down here, if she would have done a straight, I would not have liked this. Uh, it wouldn't have been bad, but I wouldn't have said, I might, might have said, because this graphic is, someone put a mustache on you. Because this graphic is so interesting. If you would have had a straight graphic down here, it would have taken away from the interesting graphic up here. So I love that she tilted the picture just to make it just a little more interesting. Once again, now this is way too close to the edge. I feel like I'm falling off the cliff. All right, uh, let me see. I'm gonna stop the share for a second. I wanna see my emails, if there's anything else in there. Okay, nothing else in there. Hey, Craig. Yes. Can I share my screen and show that I, I did a super hack job with screenshots yep. to see the photo for PK? Knock yourself out. All right. Let's see. So it kind of chopped off her key a little bit because I couldn't grab it without chopping off the media topics. But wow, look at that. You would have to do some alignment stuff that I that I didn't bother trying to do, but that's basically the difference that would happen. Love that. Look at that. Yay, hey, thank you. That looks good. Give me an idea. That clipboardy thing, and then you're you're kind of have the clipboard and those are your topics. It kind of fits, I think. Yeah. So now okay, so now as a graphic designer, I'm looking at this creative director and going, you know what? Okay, if I would have saw this first, I would have said the same thing. This is great because it looks like the clipboard, she's talking about these media topics, contact information is right under there. I would move this, I know you just did this on the fly, which is amazing. I would move that over just a hair, just uh, not on top of the picture. This would have to line up, see how the N is lining up here. It would have to line up with the PK. But the fact that you did this in like, what, six minutes and flipped everything around, Michelle, thank you. That's, cool. wow. Is that, is that Michelle's, um, uh, um, sorry, business? Is that your business here? I mean, do you do craft? Oh, oh no, that is not Michelle's business. Oh, I'm not oh, okay. Graphic design. I that mm -hmm. is Snagit tool, which I've been using for years to do technical manuals and stuff for work. But it is it is nice when you just want to see what it's going to look like, but mm -hmm. then you can tell someone else, hey, can you make can you go do it? But it is nice to be able to move things around it. And Would you please send me a screenshot of that. I sent the JPEG over in the chat. Okay, there. great. Thank you. Roger and Michelle are very good at, uh, I'm finding out little by little here, at graphic design. And so they are very great um, people to um, connect with. What is, what is Michelle's uh, career? 
your business? <laughs> we're, we're actually doing the sexuality coaching, but we're, we're really good at a lot of things. We're very good at graphic design. Roger is an excellent photographer and videographer. He is great at computers and he's doing the website for us. So really, we could do vanilla stuff, but we tried to come up with a vanilla plan and it just didn't really titillate us, but we do embrace, a lot your, embrace your spice, dear. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Uh, thank you for doing that. That's, that's amazing. All right, any other last questions? Uh, otherwise, uh, we're about an hour and a half in. I can stay on here longer. Otherwise, I have a little seminar I gotta get going. <laughs> But please feel free to ask questions. I have one quick question, Craig. Yeah. yeah. I, know, I know we went through all of this, but what do you suggest to people that have not been on stage speaking but want to be on stage speaking to put a one sheet together that somebody's going to look at and say, yeah, okay, we'll have her on stage? Uh, so, so the only thing they're going to miss, so I've been booked. I'm, I'm not even joking. Using my... Um, speaker one sheet has no testimonials on it. I've been booked tons of times using that speaker one sheet. So the only thing they're really going to miss is the testimonial. They still have a bio. They still have um, the speaking topic because they should know something. If they have any sort of book or a podcast or a blog, they can show that um, uh, creator of the blog or uh, featured in the weekly YouTube series or something that they can point out or creator of the uh, America's top selling uh, product or whatever it is, call it out that you're the expert in so that you are now an expert in something and, and correlate it to what you would speak on stage. So you might okay. not be a professional speaker, but you're the expert on something. I have a blog, I kind of do videos and don't call out that you don't speak, never say that. <laughs> but stay available for speaking topics. And, and here's the other thing. And yeah, I'm going to, you know, I make money for this, but I spend a lot of money putting it together. This is exactly why you do the uh, B-roll, C-roll mania at my event. So in October, there's plenty of spaces left. It's $1,500. But you get to speak on a stage and you get a one to two to three, two and a half minute video of you speaking on stage. And then you can say, I spoke on that stage there's you know that's one of the stages that you spoke on you could do that at so many places so it's easy to get a speaking gig now you could speak at your local ihop at eight in the morning at a um one of those uh um meetings one of those yep, meetings, until, yeah those b a meetings and those uh you know those type of meetings so okay. you can speak at something but if you have not speaking yet just don't call it out but still Marketing is perception. If you yeah. tell everyone you're a speaker, then you're a speaker, you know? Got it. Thank you. Uh, Craig, I have a quick question. I am the dumbest person in America because right. I'm trying to figure out how to invite people. Yep. And I, I went and I, I joined Contra, I got the little link, and then I'm stuck. Uh, uh, join people to do what? To attend the Rock Your Life. Oh, oh, okay. So uh, you got the link to your, did you sign up as an affiliate, right? Okay, so you have a link and then all you have to do is take that link and email people. So you just email your database, hey, this is Paula, uh, if anyone wants to join me for free, I'll be on this seminar next week, join me, here is the link to sign up for free and you just copy and paste your link that you got. It's not like, you don't even have to create a, another Kartra page, you can just send an email out. I mean, I, I, I create pages and lead pages, but you don't, especially now, since it's two days away, just send an email out. Is that what you're asking me? Yeah. Greg, you also got the copy out, there. You know, and put your link and say, here's a free seminar. I'm in this mastermind. Free, and, there's, and the copy is in there, actually, in, my, um, in the Kartra, under, in the affiliate section, when you signed up for the affiliate, uh, I'll even put that link again. Thank you, because I was trying to find it, because you had this really nice laid out yeah, thing, and I was trying to figure that out. You. So what I'll do is I'll email. Let me see if I can get it right now. Hold on one second. Don't anyone talk to me for a second. 
because I got to concentrate. I have to log in. Give me one sec. So I'm logging in. There's the login. Uh, my pages. And here's my affiliate page. So this is where you signed up, but in there is the link. Okay. Copy. Now I'm going back into here. I'm going into the chat. So it's sending to everybody. Here is the link. So you see that link right there, uh, Paula, in the chat? Do you see the chat room? Okay, so you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna scroll down and in the frequently asked question, oh yeah, I'll just bring it up. Let's just show everybody one more time because y'all should be uh, doing this. Uh, I share screen, share screen, share. Okay, Kartra. So this is the link. This is my Kartra page. Join our affiliate program that you sign up here. And then down here, get email swipes. So promote Craig Doeswell. So you would do, if you are in Craig Doeswell's mastermind program, which you are, here's how to promote it. So you just click this little thing. Subject line, you can put invest in yourself and then just copy, copy and paste this into an email. And where it says, add your affiliate link here, you just, copy and paste this whole thing. Then you get rid of that. You put the affiliate link in here, get rid of your name and put in your name. And so, and then just send that out to your database. Everyone get that? All right. I'm assuming that's a yes. All right. Did anyone else have a question? Yes, I have a question. Okay. Hi, Gail. You, you said that you um, sent us a link to sign up for the Zoom for this weekend. Yes. Okay. Did you send that out today or? I sent it out last night at 3.30 a.m. <laughs> so I, let me just check. Are you registered? I believe, yeah. I All believe right. so. Let's, let's, let's see if you are registered. So what's your name? Gail Barbie? Yes. <laughs> okay. It went to gailbarbie at gmail.com. Correct. Yeah, it went there. Okay. So if you didn't get it, uh, that would be weird. But uh, email me. I, I got the I got the one for the one sheet uh, for today, but yeah. I you know, I didn't get that one. Okay, so it went out to everybody, but uh, yeah, that's weird. I didn't get it either. Neither did Roger. So Roger did did not get it. How do you know Roger didn't get it? Oh, he, cause he's with you. Roger, <laughs> it went Roger E Bowman at gmail.com. Yeah, that's right. So I'll just say, I don't know why you guys haven't gotten it and I'll send it again a couple of times. But the interesting thing is, uh, I've had, I've had since last night, uh, 105 people already register on Zoom, so so it's going out there. It's it's out there, and I don't know why. Maybe I got it at time, one. You know, I got it at 150. Signed up this morning and Bam. got my confirmation. So. so anyway, I'll send it out a few times, guys. Uh, but if you don't get it, uh, uh, I'll just send it out to you individually as we get closer. Um, it looks. It's amazing. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's, it's really cool how, how good it looks. Can you see my screen? So this is the webinar registration has the logo up top and the topic I was able, because we talked about this at zoom last week, Thursday, April 30th, 4 PM to 6 PM, Friday, nine to five, Saturday, nine to five. And all you got to do is put your name, last name and your email address and click that you're not a robot if in fact you're not a robot. And you click register and then you are in. <laughs> but it looks really cool. I mean, and I didn't do anything really special. I just used their form. It says time shows in Pacific time. 
which is good. So you, you should have gotten this. This is exactly the email that you should have gotten. Yeah, that. I didn't. I didn't get it. But got another, it. Question, got another it. question is, um, and this happened last week. I didn't week. get it either. Um, Dell had mentioned about his picture not being up in just his name. Yeah. And um, when I'm on my iPad, my picture will come up. But when I'm on the computer or the the Apple it um picture does not show up just my name yeah that's going to be in the zoom course zoom 401 the graduate mm -hmm. level course <laughs> <laughs> i have no idea look I, i'm looking at everybody's there's some people that have pictures some people don't have pictures some people just have names and some people are on video that has it's not me and it's not zoom it has to be an internal thing that you have set something up like that Right. Because I see your picture, but I don't see Dell's, you know? So I don't right. know. Mm. Because I'm seeing live people right now. I'm seeing a bunch of them. Are we going to be on camera for the... No. You may be as naked as you want. <laughs> what about uh, for our two minutes? Oh, yeah. So when, when you know, whoever's getting the, the exhibitors and all those people, I'm sending out a participant email. And uh, you will be a participant, and then I'm going to, and I'll send you a schedule out when uh, you're speaking, uh, God willing, tonight. I think I, I have it right here. I don't look. Look, it's right here. I don't look. And uh, but I got uh, the organization of this. I might actually. I, I know my heartbeat went to 420 times a minute playing golf. It might go to 800 times a minute during this webinar, just because I, I just have to make sure everything works great because i have so many flipping people coming on but anyway uh no you will not be seen participants i will click you on and then i'm going to click you off same thing with my uh rockstar people i'm clicking them on and when i'm done with them i'm clicking them off because <laughs> some of them will just want to ramble and ramble and ramble <laughs> all right anything else thank you thank you guys Thank you. Thank you. This was great. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you all. Well, I'll see. I won't see you, but we'll, uh, the next thing you'll see is the the event. So it starts Thursday at four o'clock with Chris Harrison, and then the next master class is May sixth, and I think it's going to be uh, oh, put it putting on a webinar. <laughs> The topic is putting on a successful webinar. And hopefully, I will be able to share how to put on a successful webinar by what happened on April 30th, May 1st, and May 2nd. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, if I'm still alive, you know. The topic can be do's and don'ts for the webinar. Yeah, exactly. More <laughs> don'ts than do's. No, and look, uh, the beauty of this whole thing is uh, if anyone gets mad at me, I'm like, it was free. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, uh, that, and, and to tell you the truth, uh, that is taking a lot of stress off me because I, I have so many great people coming on here and all I really have to do is get them on and let them go and I'll interact with them and teach in between. But even if you only... If everything went totally wrong and you still had what we have with the speakers, um, it's still going to be great. It, 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 it's not going to, it's definitely not going to suck. I will share this to the 25 of you or that are still on 24. Um, I will share this. I will give you a little bit of a thing. Um, Chris Harrison is doing this thing on Thursday night, the host of the bachelor. Um, we are selling something. So once again, don't get offended that we're selling something, but he is offering something that is so unique that we're looking for maybe 10 or 15 people out of the 800 and something I have that want to do this. It's, uh, I'll just say it's $7,500. So most people are going to go, I'm out, I'm done. And I get that, totally get that. But what he's offering is so unique. Um, and, and it's so valuable. So he has an audience of uh, 1.2 million people on Instagram. 1.2 million. And they're women, mainly women. The demographic is 
92% of those 1.2 women, 92% uh, of those 1.2 million people are women ages 18 to 50. That's his audience. So we're gonna pitch out there, if anyone has an audience of women 18 to 50 years old, for $7,500, I'm going to help you put together a post and I'm gonna help you put together the page that the post will go to. And Chris Harrison is starting something called his fave five of the month. So every month he's gonna, he's gonna promote five people to his 1.2 million Instagram subscribers. And it's gonna be a post and he's gonna, and it's gonna be another thing or another thing, that's what we're working out. But he's gonna say something like a, a video on it. Hey, if you guys want to do, I just came across this person, whoever it is, and oh my gosh, this is amazing, da da da, and promote you to 1.2 million people. It's almost as good as a Super Bowl commercial, but it is expensive because he gets paid twenty-five dollars to $50,000 to put up one post for big corporations. He just did this thing with Hasbro. Hasbro is um, that game company. So Hasbro asked him, I think, I don't know the numbers, over 25 grand uh, to put up a post of him playing a Hasbro game with his two kids. So to put up a picture and put up a little post underneath there. And he got paid over, and I don't know the I'm making, he says 25 to 50. So I'm going to say it's over $25,000 to do that. But Hasbro knew he's going out to 1.2 million people that love this guy. Absolutely love this guy. His, his fan base is insane. He, he basically he says jump, they say how high. So I don't know what it's gonna do for you know 10 or 15 people, but I don't know, it's just uh, kind of interesting. So he's gonna talk about other things, but on Thursday night, he's gonna, we're gonna make that offer. But that's just, just you guys know it, just don't share that yet, please. But I just wanted to give you some inside information. But but stuff like that. Like the other speakers, uh, Les Brown is not gonna sell anything. Um, most of them are, Russell Hitchcock from Air Supply is not selling, most of them aren't. But there are some things that are really good that you might wanna consider at some point. You know. Garrett Gunderson's gonna offer a small little package, but he is the guy that is helping people get the PPP loans or how to tax stuff and get money back from five years ago. He has a whole thing called Wealth Factory. He's very well known in the in the, in the uh, Genius Network and Joe Polish's thing. So a lot of interesting things. And I got to all make it sound good. <laughs> good luck, Craig. All right, I'm going. I'm leaving now. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. I'll see you Thursday at 4 o'clock. Bye, Craig. Bye. Bye. Bye.